The second he realizes that there's a receiver down here coming wide open in his area, which would be a one-play touchdown in the other direction, he changes course and passes it on to the safety, who's way out of position at this point, making this a very easy one-play touchdown. And if we watch the cornerbacks, you can see how they essentially set a pick on each other to the point where both receivers are wide open for a one-play touchdown no matter which direction you want to go. And the X route's just going to get completely uh, lost in coverage. And now you have a one-play touchdown against every defense in the game. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snow the Man and Cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the most explosive plays to use in Madden 24. I'm going to show you guys one play touchdowns against every single defense in the game. So if it's in this video, it scores against every single defense in the game. And, you know, depending on how many I get to show you guys here, if you guys want to see more, you can always check out my ebooks. Links in the description and the top pin comment because every single play I show you today is going to be from one of my ebooks. And I'll tell you guys which one that is as I go along. Now, the first place I'm going to show you guys is going to be out of my Jets offensive ebook. But the formation is the Gun Bunch T. E, and you're going to want to make sure that you have your best two receivers at these two spots here because they're going to be the action spots for most of the play. So let's start off with the PA boot over. On defense, we're going to do Tampa 2 first. Now, one of the things that makes this formation so easy to glitch is the fact that a lot of defenses, you can just, you know, fade the wire out and put the B route on a slant and have a lot of success. And you're going to see how this, um, this X route here just splits the cover two safeties very easily. Like I said, I don't really have to do too much for cover two. Cover two is very simple. To make this video go fast, I'm only going to show it one time. We're going to go, we're going to move on to cover two man. For cover two man, it's the exact same setup. You saw how the slant really pulls the safety apart. For whatever reason, that's out of depth good enough that it's going to get that safety, the strong safety on the other side, to spread apart very easily. We're going to get into some of the harder defenses now. Let's go and let's pick cover one robber. Cover one's going to be the same setup, but you don't have to slant the B route. The B route's a very good check down, as is against man coverage. You just have to buy time. And a lot of people will, you know, block the tight end and double the, the edge so they can roll out the buy time, but I didn't actually do that. And you can see eventually the streak will pull back the safety and you can get across with the same route. Now we're going to do the Overstone Brave cover zero. Now for this play, I mean, you just want to check and release the running back. The same setup will work, but the Y route's a really good route. So I'm going to put the B route on a fade this time, as I just really can, like the Y route here. I mean, you can see how fade that uh, that B route will basically get this guy open a lot quicker. You can see why I chose this route instead because the way that these receivers are all bunched together, a lot of times doing this will make the uh, cornerbacks run into each other and really just kind of glitch out as you can see right here. But we really don't have to worry about either one of these. I could probably throw to any one of these receivers because of the fact that these two guys ran into one another. I could throw to the crossing route, which obviously is the fastest. But if the user's on that, you don't even have to worry about that because you also have the post route. The post route's gonna be there every single time because post routes naturally beat man cover zero all right so next up we'll do cover three against cover three the setup's going to work the exact same way the only thing that really changes is i have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field this won't work just about anywhere else so basically now that i'm on the hash mark you're going to see how i get this receiver to uh to get across a lot quicker if i'm not on the hash mark it doesn't work the same way next up we'll do cover four before we do cover for regular we'll do quarters now for cover four it's going to be the same setup one more time only this time i'm going to put the running back on a wheel i have to do that because you need four deep zones these four quarters react based off of how many routes go over 10 yards so if I got my four deep zones here, you're going to see how the X route's going to be open once again. As you can see, I mean, you know, anytime you have a safety trying to rotate like that, he's just not going to cover well. And then last but not least, we have cover four drop, which reacts differently than cover four quarters. And then I'm going to do the exact same setup, only this time you have to run it from a different hash mark. You can do the running back the exact same way, but you have to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. You see how the running back does a very good job of holding down that safety and pulling him apart. So to me, it's probably the best setup because you don't really need him in blocking anyway. And now you have one play touching against every defense in the game. Now, the next play I'm going to show you guys is in both my New York Jets ebook and in my Denver Broncos ebook. And it looks like a formation that's probably not going to be the best against the pass but it really is and that's the eye form close this is one of the better running formations in the game if you like to run the ball uh, and it also has a lot of really great pass plays including the one i'm going to show you today which is the pa tight end leak then on the defensive side we're going to start off with tampa 2 once again now this is going to be another play where i'm going to spend a lot of time motioning this guy across pretty much every single time as i'm going to put this guy here on a fade and now you're going to see how this guy is going to get streaking wide open up the middle here to the x route once again because the safety gets pulled by the streak and the other safety is getting pulled open by the uh, the tight end on a corner route 
Gonna have that exact same effect against cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that. Against cover two, you can motion this receiver across once again, but I find it's better to motion across the tight end because the receivers kind of get in each other's way. So I'm gonna motion across the tight end, put him on a streak, and then I'm going to put the uh, the R, the B route on a 10 yard out route and just block my running backs because I really just want extra pass pro since I know where I'm going with the ball. And you can see how the uh, you know the X route here is just gonna split the safeties once again because the 10 yard out route has the exact same effect as the corner route the tight end was running. Next up, we're gonna do some man coverage. We'll start off with cover and hole. Against cover one, I'm just gonna basically do the same thing. I'm just gonna do it from the hash mark to the short side of the field. You can see how the safety is standing towards the center of the field there. So that's, I'm gonna use that against them. So basically, I don't need any of these other routes. Although I do find it's best to put the tight end on a block and release just to help out temporarily before it goes out on a route. And you can see how the X route here is not gonna get nearly as much uh, issues as he gets right across that safety's face for a very easy one-play touchdown. Next up, we're gonna do cover zero, and this one might be the easiest out of all of them. So we're gonna pick the Overstone Brave. It's another play where I'm gonna go ahead and motion this guy across and put him on a fade. Although I wanna check and release the running back because I wanna make sure that somebody is uh, blocking and also whoever's covering him gets picked up and stays with these receivers. So I'm actually gonna check and release them both. But it really doesn't matter because the play is going to be the X route. You can see once again, the receivers run into one another. I probably could have threw to either one of those if I'm being honest. Because these guys are so close together, the receivers at the start of the play you're going to see how a lot of times they'll basically uh, make the cornerbacks run into one another and that's going to make it to the point where you can really throw against either one of these guys once again you can see the cornerback is getting pushed inside by the other cornerback making it a very easy one play touchdown to both receivers and if we watch the cornerbacks you can see how they essentially set a pick on each other to the point where both receivers are wide open for a one play touchdown no matter which direction you want to go all right so next up we'll do cover three against cover three we're going to do the exact same thing we want to once again we want to do it from the hash mark to the short side of the field because you can see how that safety is cheating over to the center and i'm going to use that against him other than that just got to fade that route and you're going to see how that x route once he gets inside that safety is an easy one play touchdown because that corner route holds that cornerback down to the outside and we're on to cover four starting off with cover four quarters now since cover four quarters is kind of unique and by that i mean like special all you have to do is put the running back or the fullback rather the rb route on a wheel and that's it and the x route is just going to get completely uh, lost in coverage because you know I mean, cover four was really good last year, so I guess Madden had to break it. But that's the, probably the easiest coverage to beat. And then last but not least, we have cover four regular. We'll have to go to the dollar package for that. Against cover four, very similar setup. We're going to motion this guy across one more time, but we're not going to put him on a fade. We're just going to put him on a slant because that's going to help to hold these uh, guys down. I mean, we can. We can put him on a uh, whatever we want because the running back on the wheel route is going to hold down the, the safety and quarterback anyway. So if we want to put the B route on a fade, we can. It's not really going to matter. And you're going to see how we're going to have the exact same success. Although I really just have to wait for this guy to cross. And you can see how that safety was just way low because he's worried about that wheel route coming into his area because it is a deep route. Next up, we're going to do one of my favorite plays from the New Orleans Saints offense. One of my favorite formations, the gun stack wide flex. The play itself is a play that I use a lot in gameplays, and it's the PA read. But I never really showed how you can really home run every single defense with this play. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, once again, we're going to start off with cover two. With cover two, you just have to fade the Y route. And the X route and even the Y route really can have a lot of success. You can see if I get a good pass lead away from that safety, I mean, that safety's covered neither one of these routes. That route you probably can't do if you're using classic passing, though. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go with the X route as this also splits the safeties as I get a very bad accuracy throw. But it was still a very easy one play touchdown because you can see the middle of the field is wide open. Next up, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick cover two man. The setup's going to be pretty much the same fading the Y route. All you really got to do, I mean, I could throw to that Y route once again. As you can see, um, you know, the way that these stack receivers work, they're so close together that they get in the, the cornerbacks get in each other's way. Or you could do the same thing with the X route, but I find like putting the Y route on a streak helps the X route get open a little bit better. Just It just doesn't get in the way as much when it comes to hitting these receivers here. So we'll call that a one-play touchdown. Next up, we're going to do more man coverages. We'll stick around with cover one hole. Against cover one, I'm just going to run it from a half to the short side of the field once again and give myself that fade. And you'll see how, number one, the fade route's always going to be there based off the fact that these receivers are so close together. But the X crossing route should work eventually as well. So we'll go and we'll do that one more time to the X route this time just to show that that uh, does work. You know, no matter no matter which one you want to throw to. But that's why it's the number one play, because they both get open against everything. Next up, we have cover zero. And this is pretty much going to be the same setup. The only difference is I want to check and release my running back. I got a good check down with the A route, but I'm going to be able to basically hit the two receivers once again as they get crossed up. Both the man cornerbacks get crossed up one more time, and it makes it to the point where both these receivers are going to score again. 
The wire out is definitely less effective on this play than some of the others. But you can see how he just runs around everything every once in a while. It just becomes a very easy one-play touchdown to both receivers once again. The toughest one out of all this is probably cover three. So we're going to pick that next. For cover three, just run it from a hash to the short side of the field and put both the A and Y receivers on slants. And this will mess with those deep zones enough that the X route will pretty much get forgotten. As you can see, the cornerback was really following for a while, following the, the, the post route until the slant pulls him back. If you watch this post route, basically the cornerback outside here like man matches him and follows him right up the seam, which is actually pretty good for Madden 24. But the second he realizes that there's a receiver down here coming wide open in his area, which would be a one play touchdown in the other direction, he changes course and passes it on to the safety who's way out of position at this point, making this a very easy one play touchdown. And next up, we'll do cover four, which is probably the easiest one out of all of them. We're going to use that same trick with the running back. We're going to put him on a wheel, motion him across, and we're going to fade that uh, that Y route one more time. And this is pretty much going to be the play, is you're going to have a couple different options here, but the X route is going to be the most consistent, so we might as well just stick with it, as it's a very easy one-play touchdown. And then last but not least, we got cover four regular, cover four drop. Against cover four, just run from a hash to the short side of the field, wheel that running back one more time, and put the Y route on a slant and this is going to be all you need as you just got to buy some time against a very weak pass rush and this x route is going to split those safeties one more time for a very easy one play touchdown to end the video so i'm going to end the video there if you guys want to see more explosive passing plays like this i occasionally do videos like this throughout the season so make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section and if you want to see more right now you can check them out in any of my ebooks because i have a ton to spare uh, that i make these videos from so links in the description and the top pin comment if you want to see me use some of the plays that i showed today in gameplay i'm gonna have that popping up right here and if you want to see a video i made about uh defenses top five defenses i think they're gonna be popping up on the other side so just click the links and show to help with your game and that's it thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below